What's up everyone? In this video, I'm just going to quickly go through a simple color grading process with HLG GH5 footage. And as you know, I'm kind of new to this whole HLG thing. I've been putting some videos out, kind of playing around with the color profile from the GH5. And it's been a lot of fun and I've actually really liked using it. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. But one of the things that we know is that HLG color profile is more for broadcasting HDR content. And so you need to get it to a Rec. 709. And for that, I use the Liming LUT. Now, this video is not sponsored by the Liming LUT or has nothing to do in any affiliation with the Liming LUT. But I have found that it's been really fantastic to use with the HLG footage from the GH5. So this is just a really simple process that I've put together using LUTs that I've created to get the color grade over top of the Leaming LUT. And I'm actually editing in probably one of the worst programs for HLG footage, and that's Adobe Premiere Pro. I know that so many of you have told me to color grade in Resolve. I just have no idea about Resolve. It's probably something that I should learn, but I do appreciate you reaching out and telling me where I should be color grading. So when it comes down to it, I think you're right. If you're new here, my name is Caleb and I've been doing freelance video production since 2012, but this channel is to help you make your own videos, whether you just started or you've been making them for a while, whether you use the GH5 or any other camera. If that's something you're interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right, so we're just gonna go into Adobe Premiere Pro and I just have some clips that I shot for some of the previous videos. Um, you know, it's springtime, trees are blooming, things are looking nice. And so I just picked some of those clips to use just to, you know, quickly go through this little color grade thing that I'm doing here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this clip and we're just going to find like just a little section and we're going to create an in and out point. And I'm just going to grab the clip and create a new sequence down here. And you know what? I'm just going to name it that way I can keep track of it. Um, HLG grade. So I have the clips in here and you can tell that the color is just off. This is HDR footage that we need to get to a Rec. 709. So what we're going to do is actually I'm going to create a new adjustment layer. And this adjustment layer is going to be for the Leaming LUT that is going to turn this footage into Rec. 709. So I actually have the Leaming LUT in here and I'm going to use the Leaming LUT Pro 3 G series HLG for Rec. 709. And so what that's going to do as soon as I put that on there, it's going to put it into a Rec. 709 color space. Now, one of the things with, you know, Lumix cameras that a lot of us struggle with is just the magenta looking colors that come out, especially like on skin tones and things like that. And you can see like, there's a lot of like reds and pinks in here to start with. Um, so I think it's gonna be skewed that way a little bit. But one thing I have noticed and continue to notice is just that, uh, you know, magenta look on some of the images. And I've noticed it with the, um, HLG footage as well, but you know what, we can work around that and we can, you know, really color balance things that we need to. So that was just a simple process of getting our HLG file straight out of camera. And now I'm shooting all that in 10 bit, you know, 4k 10 bit. This is actually a cinema 4k clip in 10 bit 422 color which you know with the hlg and vlog footage you're going to want to be in those those settings there to get the best color and image possible but with this leaming LUT, and like i said i'm not affiliated with the leaming LUT. i've just been really happy using it and i would highly recommend you using it as well so now we are in a rec 709 color space and actually what i'm going to do is create another adjustment layer which i probably could have just used the same one i don't know why i you know, change that, but we're going to call this one grade and I'm just going to put it on top. And, you know, I like making things look nice here in the timeline. And so we have the grade on top of the leaming light. And so what I'm going to do is actually go here to creative and 
I'm gonna go and I'm gonna use one of my LUTs in here that I have. And you know, you can actually download these LUTs for free. It's a package that I have, the link's down in the description. All you need to do is put your email address in and you can have these LUTs for free. Deep Shadows, Gold, Purple Sky, or YouTube Punch. And YouTube Punch is, you know, the LUT that I use for pretty much all my YouTube videos. So I'm actually gonna take this and I'm just going to apply it to this clip and then you can tell it kind of gave it a little bit more of a orange and teal look. And then if you want to, you can go in here and really adjust some of these colors. But I mean, when it comes down to it, this is actually a pretty good image and I'd be happy with this. So maybe one of the things I might do is actually go back to this leaming LUT and I might just kind of adjust some of the levels a little bit to kind of really fully expand this up here. And so um, I can maybe do that a, a couple different ways, maybe just by kind of messing with the exposure. I can just bring the overall image up a little bit. And then I can also go into the whites and blacks and I can bring those blacks down. I don't necessarily like touching zero with the blacks. I like kind of hovering just around, just above zero or around 10. Um, and then, you know, with the whites, we can just lift those just a little bit. Now, if you have a good balanced image right out of camera, you shouldn't have to mess with these levels a whole lot. So that's really what you wanna do. And if you've watched some of my previous HLG videos, you'll see that I've just been exposing according to the zebra stripes, setting the zebra stripes at 95 and exposing my image for that. So you can go in here and adjust some of these things. Like if you wanna bring those shadows up just a little bit, you can do that if you feel like they're a little too dark um, or bring some of those highlights down, like in some of these areas, they might just be peaking just a little bit. So you can bring some of those highlights down and really balance out your image. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this grade right here and there's not a whole lot to it like don't overdo it you know to get a cinematic look you don't need to like go crazy with it okay so let's start back from the beginning here's what the hlg footage looks like straight out of the camera then we applied the leaming LUT, and then we applied the grade and that's kind of kind of brought out some you know deeper colors and things like that and now uh, let's do this image right here of this flower. And this one is a little bit cloudier of a day. And so it's just a little bit, it might be just a little bit different and we can use maybe a different grade on here. So actually I'm gonna bring this over since I made some adjustments on this leaming LUT right here. I'm actually gonna bring a new one over and as always i like cleaning this up not a big deal but i just like doing it and so i can input that lut hlg for rec 709 and that's the leaming lut and then you can see the difference it made already and this image is a little bit darker as well it's kind of bright right over here um, but we might be able to just bring that up just a little bit and we don't want it to totally peek out maybe this part of the image right here we can have kind of right on the edge of a hundred because we know that part's going to be blown out anyway um, and then we can just bring these blacks down just a little bit and you can kind of really you can kind of see that it you know starts making the image a little bit deeper in some of these darker spots okay so we have this grade that we're going to put on here clean that up. And actually on this one, I'm going to use, um, I think cinematic fade and cinematic fade is actually a package that I have for sale on my website. That link is down in the description as well. And, um, you can use the discount that's in there. So if you're interested in any of these like cinematic fade, um, classic summer, these simple grades right here, um, any of those 
are available on my website using the link down in the, in the description. And you can use that discount code as well to get a discount on those if you're interested. I mean, seriously, don't worry about it. If you're interested in those, uh, you probably have like hundreds of LUTs and you probably don't need any more, but that's totally fine. I'm going to use Cinematic Fade on this one. And this really brings out, it kind of like darkens these greens here in the image a little bit. And that actually took this, you can actually see it clipping right here. So it's way up there. So I'm actually gonna go back to this Leaming LUT um, adjustment layer. And I'm going to bring the exposure back down just a little bit and bring those whites down just a little bit. And you know, like I said earlier, that part of the image might be clipping anyway. So we're just gonna have to live with it because I was kind of exposing for this uh, flower right here. So that part of the image, you know, is just, it just might be clipped and we might just have to deal with it as long as this right here is exposed correctly. And from what I can tell, everything is looking good. And I actually like that look with it there with that cinematic fade LUT that I have. I think that looks pretty good. So that's just a quick, quick color grade and kind of how I've been going about this process um, with the HLG footage from the GH5 and using the Leaming LUT, which I've been so happy with. And what I found using the HLG footage is that the dynamic range has been very, very, let's just say I've been very happy with it. And again, like I said, I'm kind of new to this whole HLG thing. So if you see any process in here that you would change in my workflow, I edit and color grade for speed to try to get it out quickly. So that's why I try to nail as much as possible. I try to nail the settings right in camera so that when I do get it to the editor, it is a very simple process to try to get it pumped out. If there's anything that you see that you would change or you would add to this process, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to get a conversation started. But that's all I have for this video. If you have time, maybe stick around, watch one of the videos that's popping up on your screen right here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.